Kitchen Free Kid. Today I'm super excited because I get to make Rice Krispie Treats. But even better, they're going to look like Frankenstein. These are going to be great to put in my lunch boxes, to go to class parties, to go to birthday parties, and whenever I need a tasty treat. So let's get started. This is what you need to make these delicious Rice Krispie Treats. First, you need some Rice Krispies. Duh, they're called Rice Krispie Treats. And I use the multi-meal Rice Krispie Treats. They're gluten-free. They even say here, right here. But what's really weird is that the box is not gluten-free, but the bags are. It's just really weird. And you need six cups of it. Which I have right here. Then you need a fourth cup of butter. You need 10 ounces of marshmallows. And if you want to make them look like Frankenstein like me, you need some green food coloring. So get these ingredients and let's get cooking. <laughs> the first step is to melt your butter. You're going to turn your stove on to medium low and then you're going to put it in and let it melt. And then I'm just going to let it melt. Just kind of stir it while it's melting a little. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Stir it a little bit. I just got all the butter melted, so now I'm going to be adding the marshmallows. And while I'm adding the marshmallows, I must add the food coloring. And if you want your Frankenstein to be very dark, do a lot. If you don't want it to be so dark, don't do it so much. The more you add, the greener it would be. So first, I'm going to add the marshmallows. Yum! I'm going to try to get it all. But it's open. I'm just gonna do. Kind of looks black right now. Frankenstein, Frankenstein. <laughs> now my food coloring and my marshmallows in there, so now I'm gonna stir it again. Wow, this looks so cool. Looks so cool. You're gonna keep mixing this until the marshmallows are all melted and it looks really creamy. <laughs> so I'm mixing it right now and it looks pretty melted, so I'm gonna add I'm gonna turn off the heat and then I'm gonna add the rice krispies. Now I'm gonna add my crispy rice. And once you're and then I'm gonna stir again and when I'm stirring. I want to make sure I get from the bottom, so I want to make sure everything is mixed in with my marshmallows and my food. Make sure you mix from the sides and underneath, so it gets underneath, so it gets mixed really well. Next, I got it out of the pan and I put it on this parchment paper. A warning: it, the pan, pot is very hot, so you might want to have a parent help you. So I don't like to get my hands very sticky. So I'm going to be putting another piece of parchment paper on top of the Frankenstein. And I'm going to press down. <laughs> well, like you can definitely feel it through the paper. So plus it kind of stops the heat. I just flatten all of these out and I let it cool for a couple minutes. So now I'm going to be cutting them with a pizza cutter into some lines. Ugh. You have to like hold it, I think, because it's steady. And then I'm going to do it into a square. Then I'm going to do this one. And you really have to like press down. Like, those are going to be a lot. A lot. That's kind of color. And then I'm going to do this one. That barely, that didn't even go through. I just cut all these up, so now it's time to decorate. The first step I'm going to be doing to decorate is I'm going to get some chocolate chips and I'm going to melt them in the microwave for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to take them out and stir them. Then I'm going to put them back in for 10 seconds, take them out, stir them. Back in for 10 seconds, take them out, stir them. And just keep doing this until they're fully melted. 
I just got my chocolate out of the microwave, so now it's melted. It took forever. So now I'm going to pour it in my piping bag. I just put this into my piping piping bag, so now I'm going to make my Frankenstein their mouth. It's kind of doesn't have the stitches because fra all Frankenstein stuff stitches, kind of like long stitches. And then I'm gonna do some hair right here, some more hair. So they're looking really good. Okay, so then I'm gonna do the same for this one. I'm thinking I'm gonna just do all of them here and then I'm gonna go to the mouse afterwards. I've got many more to do. This is really fun to do. I think this is just, this is a, like a really fun activity to do. I like it. So now I'm going to be adding eyes to my Frankenstein because they have hair, they have mouths. So they need the eyes. And I'm going to be using um, mini M&Ms, which you can use the candy eyes, but this is what we have, so we're gonna use them. I'm just going to dab some chocolate on there so they can stick. So I'm just going to dab it like where I want it. And then I'm going to get the M&Ms. I want them to match, so I'm going to make two like orange or something M&Ms. I'm just going to stick them on the chocolate. This is really messy. Like, I'm just going to dab some cho cho <laughs> chocolate. And I'm just going to get that. And then I'm going to put some M&Ms on that chocolate so they stick. So. I'm not gonna do the M side because I mean, I'm just not. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest of these. These look so good. I can't believe I just made gluten-free Rice Krispie Treat Frankenstein treats. I'm so excited to eat these. Let's eat them. Ah, don't eat me. Too bad. Uh. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you decide to try these, make sure you tell me how they turned out in the comments below. If you have any ideas of what I should do next, make sure you tell me. If you like what you see, make sure you hit thumbs up and hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.